Hello everyone, my name is Stealth Jacob, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Um, last episode I think we did some max raid battles. Today I want to see if I can try and progress like the Isle of Armor storyline, and see if that is all good or not. So we're gonna go fast travel to the Field of Honor. And yeah, um... I did some research, and I'm a little bit confused as to how this works. But I want to go talk to Mustard again and see what he says. Oh, wait. Hey, Hop's here. Oh, no. Hop's here. Oh, hey. Welcome back, Stealth Jacob. Looks like you've been hard at work keeping up with your training here at the dojo, eh? Uh, yeah, Hop, what are you doing here? That's just a reaction I was hoping for. I'm here in the Isle of Armor to research more about the Dynamax phenomenon. So I hear that you two are friends. How delightful. Hoppykins here was just asking my permission to camp out on the Isle of Armor. But where's the fun in mucking about in the mud? I was telling them that he should stay here at the dojo. I mean, it'd be loads easier than camping out for a long while, but wouldn't I be in the way? Everyone's welcome to wear out to wear out their welcome at Master Dojo, don't be shy. Besides, we're practically family already. You're the little brother of our Leon, after all. Yeah, that's true. Lee did train here when we were both kids. He did? Oh, that's cool. He twisted my arm. I hope you don't regret it, because I'm staying. <laughs> the more the merrier. I'm as pleased as punch in a gold-plated punch bowl. Which reminds me, I've got something I've been meaning to tell you about Kupfu, or really its evolution, Urshifu. The truth is the lovable rascal is capable of gigantamaxing too. But it's a bit tricky because it can't stand the taste of max mushrooms. So max soup is off the menu unless you can make it more appealing to it. There's a certain something you can find on the Isle of Armor, though, that'll make it e even Urshifu gobble up a bowl of max soup. And that something is... It's actually... Actually, I've forgotten what it is. Whoops. Okay. Are you kidding me? You're even more fun to tease than your brother ever was. The certain something I'm thinking of uh, makes Max Soup more palatable to Urshifu. And it has something to do with another Pokemon. Now I think I'll let the two of you figure out what it is. Just give me a good just give it a good think together. You're on your own kiddos, the world is your cloister, so get cracking. I like that fun, that was a good one. How's this how your training usually goes? I've really got no rapid dash in this race, but even I'm pretty curious about that certain something. I read something about Urshifu in a book once. Um, books that lives on the mountains in some far off region. It's pretty amazing. I just happen to be researching foreign Pokemon lately, is all. I think I read that Urshifu is absolutely mad for some kind of sticky honey. Still doing it. Honey is made from the nectar of flowers and plants, right? So maybe we need nectar by some Pokemon to make it look like that, that look like flowers and plants. I'll be able to look into Dynamaxing along the way, so count me in for some exploration. There's a forest past that big marshland, right? But I can beat you there. Oh, okay. Cool. So I guess we progressed the story. I didn't even think that was going to happen. I read that, um... I was trying to figure out what we had to do next, and... I know we had to, uh... Win become the champion, which we did already. But I guess we had to do something else. Maybe we had to get the judge function first. So yeah, I think we, uh... I, I didn't expect that to work right away. I just wanted to check. I thought we had to go back to like the Pokemon League or something and win again. Do I have enough watts to buy anything else? I got up to 50,000. So. 
I'll spend 50,000. We can stock soda pop in the vending machine. Now I'm out of watts though, but that's okay. Hello, Mar Marco Cosmo's living. We need some soda pop. Cool. Yeah, I need to farm up a lot of watts. That's going to be annoying. If we get up to 50,000, we'll add lemonade. Okay. Oh, did we get that already? I think we got quite the line of a drink now, but maybe we could do something to nosh. But... Alright, cool. Um, okay, let's go let's go help hop out. But yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think that would work. Oh. Got a raid out. I'll, I'll probably so we know what we have to do now, we're gonna do the stuff with hop. But yeah, we're also gonna catch Pokemon here and do battles like this. We gotta get the Watts after all. Uh, do I have a good grass type? Because that's a Gastrodon, like, 100%. Eh, Surfetch has a grass move. That's the best I've got. <laughs> I'll go with Surfetch. Give it a shot. Yeah, hopefully we can win. At least we got the Watts, right? <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll be progressing the Isle of Armor storyline for a bit now. Yeah, I didn't... I actually didn't think I was able to do that yet to progress the story, but I guess I am. So that's a good thing. Alright. Let's get some max overgrowths going. How proud? Should I throw in a max knuckle? I'm not sure if the. Do Dynamax Pokemon remove stat changes anymore all the time? Or did they, like, edit patch that out or something, because I haven't seen it in a while, where they like, where they do that, if that makes sense, because they mostly, yeah, I have, in the last episode, they didn't do that at all, I don't think, if I can recall correctly. All right, got the max overgrowth. So yeah, I might start doing Max Knuckle more, because that'll boost our attack a lot. And that'll be very useful. Yeah, we got the, uh... Got the shield up. Go for Max Strike, huh? A Magikarp. A Magikarp with Focus Sash, because yes, of course. Why does Magikarp have that? Alright, our speed fell. That shouldn't matter too much. Our Pokemon are pretty tough here. But yeah, now we we can heal our team up now with the... We also are healing Gastrodon, but... Yeah, let's go for Max Knuckle and boost our stats, because I don't think it can affect that. Which is weird, but yeah, I don't think it can. I haven't seen it as of late. It's usually they, yeah, like the... They eliminate all stat changes, which I haven't seen in quite a while. Alright. We got that down. I could go for max overgrowth next. That might be smart. Because that'll do a ton of damage to Gastrodon. That should hopefully get it to the next shield. It's using Earth Power a lot. We're slightly healing Gastrodon. A little bit annoying. Alright, we'll go for max overgrowth this time. Do we just hopefully to get it to the uh, next phase? Next shield, then we can break that and win the game. Okay, we didn't take much. Alright, we got the shield back up. The problem is. We didn't get our amazing attack off there to break two blocks. Oh, there it is. So I guess it does nullify changes. Okay. 
See, I didn't think it was doing that anymore, so I wasn't sure. But yeah, I guess they still do that, so that's... It's a good thing I didn't just only do that move. I throw fainted, that's okay. That's the first Pokemon that went down. Uh oh, that might take down. Okay, now there's three down. <laughs> That's a little scary. I mean, either way, we're giving it a good try. Hopefully we can take... Gastrodon's a pretty cool Pokemon, so... If I can catch one, that'd be neat. But yeah, we gotta do four extra hits to it now. It's actually only... Hmm, should I use Detect right now? I'm gonna use Detect because it's gonna try and hit me a lot. I think this is a smart move. This will buy me a turn so that my teammates can all get back. Please tell me that didn't nullify it. Aha! Because it's gonna attack me like three times or two times. Look at that. I'm using my brain. It worked! Alright, now we'll. See. Now everybody should be back. Alright, we got Magic Card back. But yeah, I don't really know what I did to pro progress the Isle of Armor story. I just know that I did it somehow. But yeah, I don't know what I did, so... If you guys know, you can leave a comment and let me know. Because I don't have a clue. That did a lot of damage. If we can survive this next turn and everybody takes out its shield, I think we'll be okay. Come on, throw. We also have to survive, that's the other thing. If we can survive two hits. Alright, it's going for me. We survived it. And if throw can if throw can take out the shield right now. Alright, we avoided it. Come on, no one faint. Okay, good. Alright, brick break. Okay, I, this is gonna be close, but I think we'll be good. Yeah, the defense is fell, so our, if we're faster, which we should be, uh, we'll do a ton of damage, and if, hopefully someone else will also be faster. Just in case. Yeah, this will be close. I think we'll be good, though. What was that? Oh, the, the overgrown terrain or whatever, by the way. Alright. I think we'll be okay. Yes! Okay, cool. We did it! We defeated Gastrodon. Alright. I'm gonna throw... I'll throw a net ball. It's a grass, or not a grass type. It's a, uh, the water ground, so. This will have a better chance to catch it. Come on, Gastrodon. Get the Pokeball. Yeah, Gastrodon's really good because, um, it's only weak to, like, grass, obviously. Which. It's pretty good, that's its only major weakness, because electric is nullified. Yeah, it's just a very good typing. I think it also gets like a good ability in doubles battles, like... I think the ability sends water type moves towards Gastrodon, and then they won't affect anyone. So that's pretty cool. But we did it! We beat the... got that win. That's pretty cool. But yeah, let's head to the forest though, we'll go talk to Hop. Yeah, we'll go help out Hop. But yeah, we haven't been here in a while because, yeah, we weren't able to really progress. But now we can. Alright, so we gotta go here. Hey, Hop. How you doing, Hop? Finally, I've been waiting forever. I thought Glimwind Tangle was a real maze, but this place is on an entirely different level. And it's so hot and humid that I'm sweating a pond over here. 
Sonia and I split up places to survey, and she opted for a, for the cold and snow and all. Uh, it's too bad we somehow can't divide this heat up between us two. We both feel a bit better. Anyway, I'm checking out this forest of focus place while I was waiting for you to show up. And I saw that Lilligan and Applin live here. Maybe we can gather a bit of sweet nectar that Urshifu should love from their flowers and fruit. Huh. Cool. Hello. Look, it's a Patilli. Patilli evolves in the Lilligant, which is the Pokemon we're looking for. Uh, doesn't that Patilli seem to be acting a bit strange? Looks lost. Now that you mention it, it's still pretty little. Maybe it got separated from its parents. Whoa, who are you glomming onto, mate? You must be lost if you think I'm your mom. And now I'm stuck. Okay. You've got to help us out here. Go find one of Patilia's parents or something, would you? Look for some word looking Lil again. I'll be waiting here with this little one. I'm afraid I'll step on it if I start walking around. Alright. So we need to find... Uh... The evolved form of uh, Patili, which is Lilligant, I think. I, I'm i pretty sure I know what it looks like, so we should be good. Alright. It's some berries and apricorn. Yep. A Moongus. Alright. So yeah, we need to search around and find some Pokemon. Oh, there's a max mushroom right there. I'm gonna grab that. Hey, Skullabeat. Mushroom. Alright. Oh, there's a Pikachu. Do we have a Pikachu? I don't know. Found a leaf stone, though. That's pretty sick. Yeah, let's shake the tree. Alright, shake it some more. Uh, we could shake it again. Alright, we'll stop now. It's shaking a lot. Got eight items, though. It's really good. Four black apricorns, two red, one green, and a citrus berry. Not bad at all. Alright. Um... Still haven't seen a Lilligan yet. I think that's what it's called. Oh, well here's a Lilligan. Lil. <clears throat> Are you what I'm looking? Yeah, you're you're the Pokemon I'm looking for. Um uh, Have you lost a Pelope? Lilligan! Wants to follow us. Alright. So we gotta lead this Lilligant. So we gotta walk. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Inteleon keeps trying to sprint at me. <laughs> Anteleon. I'm pretty sure we need to stay close to Lilligan, so we can't run off too far. That's okay. That's a big scolipede, though. Alright, we're almost there. Alright. Yeah, we just need to get around here. 
Yeah, I'm just taking my time. Don't want to go too fast. Because otherwise, I think we've technically, like, fail the mission. Oh, look at that. It's an Amog. It's a mole in that tree there. That was awesome. It was up in the tree. That was awesome. I didn't know Pokemon like could spawn in trees like that. Did we do it? Finally, and you found Lilligan. All right, we did it. All right. It looked like they're both pretty happy to see each other. What do you think? I'd say Lilligan is trying to thank you. Lily? Is this some kind of nectar from your flower, Lilligan? Alright. We did it, though. That's awesome. See ya, Patilly. See ya, Lilligan. Nice one. Now we got some of Lilligan's nectar. Hopefully this nectar is sweet and sticky, just like Urshifu likes it. Slurp? I definitely wouldn't call it very sticky. Okay, Hop, what are you doing? It's pretty watery. I don't think this is what you needed, mate, but at least we did a good deed anyway. Let's give Apple and Nectar a try next. Okay. All right, Hop. What are you doing? All right. Find Appland in the Forest of Focus. All right. Um, we're not going to do that this episode. We'll do that next time. But yeah, we got started with the next sort of main quest line, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, we're trying to find an ingredient to make Urshifu... Uh, Gigantamax, which is pretty cool, actually. If we can get that, we can add... That'll just be a cool new thing that we can have. Alright. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode of Pokemon Sword. If you guys enjoyed the episode, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, you can click the subscribe button right here. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. See ya!